Hi, I'm Jimmy, the tech support lead at Sofuel, and in this video, I will help you understand tax rules in the UK. As an online store owner, it is crucial to understand how VAT in the UK operates. This includes how to correctly charge VAT on goods sold within and between each country. But navigating VAT rules can be a real headache. Coupled with Brexit and the Northern Ireland Protocol, it can seem like a minefield for the UK in particular. In this video, I will help you understand this topic better to make sure your Shopify store is set up correctly when it comes to charging VAT in the UK. First, let's start with the basics. The difference between the UK and Great Britain. The UK is made up of four countries, England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. On the other hand, Great Britain refers just to England, Scotland and Wales. Be careful not to mistake Ireland for being part of the UK. It is part of the EU and therefore follows EU VAT rules. Before Brexit, the UK followed the same VAT scheme as the EU. Now that the UK is no longer part of the EU, it is governed by its own set of VAT rules. Although Northern Ireland has remained part of the UK's VAT system, Northern Ireland maintains alignment with the EU VAT rules due to the Northern Ireland Protocol implemented as part of Brexit discussions. This means that UK VAT rules relating to transactions, such as VAT rates, apply to Northern Ireland, whereas EU VAT rules apply to imports and exports. The UK Tax Authority, known as HMRC, remains responsible for collecting VAT in Northern Ireland. As such, all UK sales continue to be reported on the UK VAT return. So how do I know if I should charge VAT or not? The first and most important distinction for charging VAT is whether your business is VAT registered or not. Many businesses begin as VAT unregistered. However, once their taxable turnover reaches a certain threshold for the year, they must register for VAT. For this year, this VAT registration threshold for goods sold in the UK is £85,000. Still, if your business needs to, you can voluntarily register for VAT at any time. If your taxable turnover is below the VAT threshold and your business is not VAT registered, you do not charge VAT. This applies to the whole of the UK, including Northern Ireland, and means that you do not charge VAT regardless of where your customers are from. If your business is in the UK and you are VAT registered, you do have to charge VAT to some customers and not to others, depending on where your customers are located. Let's now have a look at the different VAT rules when selling from the UK or Great Britain to your customers based on their location. If you are selling to customers within the UK as a UK business, you will usually need to charge the standard rate of 20%. There are however a few cases where this might change, so let's quickly explore when and why that happens. There are three different VAT rates in the UK. Standard, reduced and zero rated. Most goods are charged at 20%, which is the standard rate. You should charge this rate unless the goods are classified as reduced or zero rated. Reduced rate goods are charged at 5% and includes goods such as children's car seats and mobility aids. Zero rated goods are charged at 0% and includes goods like 
books, newspapers or children's clothes or shoes. The UK government provides a website that allows you to check what VAT rate you should charge for different goods and services. You can find the link to that in the description down below. Regardless of whether your goods are standard, reduced or zero rated, you must always show the VAT information on your invoice. The great news is, Sufio can automatically do this for you and create valid invoices with a detailed breakdown of the charge VAT. Goods sold from the UK to customers outside of the UK and the EU are zero rated. Although the rate of VAT is 0%, you still have to record them in your VAT accounts and report them on your VAT return to keep evidence of removal. The rate for goods sold from Great Britain to customers in or outside the EU is exactly the same. Goods are zero rated. As I mentioned in the previous case, you must record such sales in your VAT account and report them as VAT 0% on your VAT return to keep evidence of removal. Now things are going to get a bit more complicated. Lucky for you, we've got a quick and easy explanation ready. The first possible scenario is when you, as a VAT registered business, are selling to consumers or non-VAT registered businesses in the EU. Such sales are referred to as distance sales. And on distance sales, you must charge UK VAT in the normal way unless you breach the EU-wide threshold of €10,000, which is approximately £8,818. If the total value of your sales to any EU member state is above this threshold, you must register for VAT in the EU member state and charge their rate of VAT on sales to customers in that country. If you breach the threshold by selling to multiple EU countries, registering for VAT in each member state can become admin heavy. In this case, you can choose to use the one-stop shop, also known as OSS Union Scheme, which means that you still charge VAT at the country's rate which you are selling to, but you only have to report one OSS VAT return. Thankfully, Shopify allows you to set these tax settings for individual VAT registrations and automatically charge the correct tax rates to your customers in the EU. The second scenario is when you, as a VAT registered business, are selling to VAT registered businesses in the EU and most of these sales will be zero rated or sold at the rate of 0%. Although the rate of VAT is 0%, you still have to record them in your VAT accounts and report them on your VAT to keep evidence of removal. Invoices created by Sofio can serve as proof that the goods were shipped outside of the UK. Depending on where your customers are based, there are special rules for selling digital services from the UK. But firstly, it is critical to understand what digital services are and what they are not. Although a business may use the internet to facilitate selling, this does not always mean that it provides digital services. For example, the sale of goods where the order and the processing are done electronically, such as through a Shopify store, is not a supply of digital services. This is regarded as a sale of goods and follows the usual VAT rules we set out previously. Digital services, on the other hand, include radio and television broadcasting services, telecommunication services, and electronically supplied services, such as online magazines, uh, music, films, or games. If you are a Shopify store owner making supplies of digital services from the UK to UK customers, those supplies are liable to UK VAT in the usual way. However, 
When it comes to selling digital services from the UK, including Northern Ireland, to the EU, there is no registration threshold. And so if you are selling to individuals or businesses who are non-VAT registered, you must register for VAT in that EU country and charge its VAT rate to your customers. If you are selling digital services to VAT registered businesses, then they are responsible for any VAT due to the tax authorities in the EU country they are based in. Once your tax settings are configured correctly in your online store, Sophia will create valid invoices with a breakdown of VAT charged. The invoices can be generated in multiple languages and include all the details needed to comply with the UK's invoicing legislation. If you're selling to businesses, Sophia invoices include all the required information, such as the VAT registration number of your store and your business customers. I really hope this video helped you in understanding VAT rules in the UK. In case of having additional questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. We will do our best to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Jimmy and I wish you the best of luck with your online business.